Now I'm going to show you how quickly you can create this functional screen using a Reach Technology SLCD43 development kit. Using BMP Load, I've selected Sort BMP Files when added and High Color for our bitmaps. And then I'll go ahead and add the bitmaps that we created for our screen. You can see I added an index in front of each one so it'll be sorted in BMP Load. Go ahead and open that and I can select each bitmap and view information about that file in the selected BMP information window. I'm also going to add a macro file I created that will allow me to send a single command to generate this screen. Now let's go ahead and store this into the SLCD module. Now with the terminal program open and connected to the SLCD43 development kit, let's go ahead and look at the macros used to generate the screen we just created. Useful command to look at the details of the macro on the device is lsmac. And screen1 is the name of our macro. This command will tell the device to return the commands executed in the macro screen1. And you can go ahead and see the list. There's the name of the macro. The first command sets the screen brightness to max. Um, then we set the text alignment to top left. Set the background color to white and the foreground color to black. And then that displays our footer image. The next 13 commands display the background gradient. And the reason for this is the background gradient that I cut out was 40 pixels wide. So we just tile it across the back. Last command puts the logo in the upper. Uh, last bitmap command puts the logo in the upper left hand corner. And there's our button on the left. Our button on the right. And then this macro actually puts the time on the footer in the bottom left, and that macro sets the date in the bottom left. And then you can see the details of those two macros for time and date. Before displaying the screen, let's go ahead and enable macro debugging. When this is enabled, the device will return the commands after they are executed and allows us to see the macro in action. Go ahead and send the command. You can see it returned the status of macro debug, which is on. And then we'll go ahead and send our macro to create the screen. Macro screen 1. Above, you can see the commands executed along with our functioning screen. To get started creating your own custom screens, you can go to the following links. You'll first need to download a free copy of GIMP at www.gimp.org slash downloads and then get a Reach Technology Development Kit at www.reachtech.com slash evaluate slash how can I get started. Thank you for your time and if you have any questions about how Reach Technology can help you integrate a display into an existing or new product, you can contact us at techsupport at reachtech.com or sales at reachtech.com.